I want to ask you one thing. Okay? Is anyone from your group who haven't complete our first week exercise? Anyone from your groups? Right, because we got around 125, I think if you take a look at our groups, right, okay, the whole group from seven groups, I think, we have around 145, you know, obviously, this day. Then we will miss a few people, actually, who haven't submitted yet, right? Anyone from your groups who haven't submitted, right? Right, you can actually write a... Uh, Please actually update with me directly. I just want to make sure that everyone actually have submitted the works there. And of course, don't delay your works. All right? I try to give you guys okay, a gentle kind of reminders there. Don't delay your works there. Okay? If you delay your works, you might going to have a burden in terms of work that you have to complete by the end of our session here. And of course, all this work basically will show your progress, okay? Because I want to see your progress from your developments when it comes to do those kind of complete all those exercises. All right. So that means every single works is really important for us to see whether you actually understand or not how it actually going to be there. Can we close this one at this point? All right. So do check my videos. All right. From time to time, directly. Some of the videos that I did, I did also work with uh, using the sketchbooks. Even though we are not actually doing compulsory on the sketchbooks, okay, for the sessions here, okay. May I know anyone at least from your groups haven't get those tablet yet? Still using pencil and papers to run to do those exercises? Anyone? Anyone there? No, is it? So you guys have you did get your tablet there, right? Is it? How is it? Here? So I have. I haven't have the tablet. Okay, Matthew. Okay. Yes. Yeah, then you have to work with 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 people here, right? Okay. Please do check the yes. video that I actually shared. Okay. Yesterday, how actually you're going to conduct them using your sketchbooks or maybe your papers, right? Okay, to draw this exercise, work this exercise for this week. If you seem to get it by this week, that means you have time to do those exercises more because this exercise will be submitted on Tuesday or Wednesday basically right in next week right? so you still have time there to work with it okay so to start with with this exercise here if you seems to work with digitals what you can do right now right? okay I would suggest for you guys to test with your brushes. Okay? You're using a flow, 100% flows. All right? Flows mean, right, okay, the flow, the transparency, okay, the look, the stroke that you get will get a very sharp kind of stroke there. All right? If you change the flows, you will get a bit more like a more transparent kind of looks there, right? Okay? Of your lines on the strokes there, right? Okay? Make sure you get the right kind of strokes there. It works. Select all, control A, and delete the right, okay? The selections. Control zero basically to get into the fit to screen kind of what we call that screen. All right. View there basically. If you see this kind of 
selection areas to deselect these areas, you can control D. All right. Everything is here basically. Right? Okay. In this one, I'm going to go through a bit more detail, hopefully, right? okay. from that stage, from this stage. Right? All right. Make sure when you draw, you get this kind of strokes. Right? See the quality of line that we have. Okay. The quality of line that we have here. It's just like an abstract painting there. Right? Okay. So please do concern and check your kind of brushes when you draw. If you seem to draw like this one, right? No quality of line, that means there's something wrong with your chapters there. Anyone have these kind of problems? No? All right, that means your drawing tablets work fine. And of course, okay, I have a number of brushes that I actually use to work with my illustrations there, I think. But if you use the new versions of Photoshop, you won't get this kind of brushes there. All right, the number of brushes, right, if you see, look from here, there's a few number of brushes that we have, we can explore there, I think. But the one they actually use basically for mine is the all media web flow brush. These brushes when you draw there, right? It looks like we have the brushes that similar to drawing pen, kind of drawing kind of quality of line there, okay? And of course if you actually change the size using these buttons there, okay, close and open tab buttons there, you can get the right kind of strokes there. Like pencil kind of strokes. Okay. Press a little bit and release it again. Okay. This is one of the most important tests to run first before you're going to draw in those capital. And of course, we go through with our drawings still, right? for our exercise. Select all copy, control W to close, and paste right here. Control V to paste. Want to scale subject there right again? What you can do? Sorry, right. We have to transform or okay, free transform or control T. Control T to move around and click shift to scale. Click shift, not this one, right? This is not the right way to to scale. Alright, don't use the side kind of what we call that point. Use this diagonal right point already okay, that we have from this shape there, right? Okay. To work with the scaling system there. If you scale like this, just to fit with your screen, you're doing wrong. Okay? Command Z or to control Z, for example, to change that. All right? Control Alt, finite button, and Z to, to change basically the size there, right? Okay? Or to, to, to undo basically your kind, what we call that task there, right? Okay? So the next thing is, this is the color kind of what we call that pictures there. Right? If not fit to the A4, it's okay. It's okay there, right? Okay. But we're using landscape because it's fit with those format for our drawings here. So what we can do, we we'll go to grid image, adjust gradient map. All right. It gives the opacity right here to make it more clear for our drawings. And add new layers, save the file first. All right, we do groups number four. All right, drawing exercise. Okay, we name your files. Okay, zoom in. I click control alternate. I'm uh, sorry, the right space bar. Zoom in there. My magnifying glass is the right. Alternate to zoom out already. Click three buttons to zoom out there. 
All right. That's why okay, sometimes my explanations and my kind of routine of working a bit more faster, I okay, that means you have to catch up a bit or look at those videos like this all over again. Yeah, right? Okay. So now the brushes that I use there, okay, I'm using 10 point for 150 dpi there. The way that we see things right now. Normally when you see all this kind of thing, you look a bit like panic there, okay what? There's a lot of textures, shapes, right? All this kind of detail that you saw there, okay? It looks like you have a lot of paranoia there, okay? You see this kind of detail there. But we are going to overcome that kind of detail there by working with the observations. Drawing techniques. Okay, these are the things that we are going to work into. Connection between eyes with your. What is this? Brain. Are you sure? Look like birds and also inside a mouth or a shade of window there. Alright, okay. Brain. And what is this? What is this? Uh, anyone can guess here. Right? What is this? Rock and roll. <laughs> hands, there are okay. Hands, there are okay. Hands. All right. So, these three kind of coordinations. will help you to develop those kind of senses, right? Okay? Your design senses. So if you say if you ask me like okay, or people ask you how to be creative, this is three things that a component that you need to develop along the way. You learn with your you see with your eyes to you see things in the right way. You see all this kind of detail. Connect it, bring all those information to your brain and connect it with your hands if you draw. All right, this exercise basically when we do the okay, we do basically in traditional methods there, okay. Normally we did we did this exercise there for examples here. We do it into this method there, okay. We look at this kind of drawings and then suddenly we use this we call it continuous line drawing to start with this kind of exercise there. This kind of drawing. Theory. I'm not actually, don't pick up those pencils before you complete them. Normally, we do this kind of exercise there. Have you guys have this kind of experience before? No. Nope. You're right. So, this is one of the basic fundamental exercise that actually have been using a lot there right, okay, for many years to train artists there. Right. The drawings are what we call the exercise. It's not actually take a very quick kind of process there. So it has to come with a time there, right, okay, consuming there, right, okay. that means you have to spend more time observing the things that you saw. Okay, when I actually draw there, okay, my kind of what we call that eyes are going to be focused with the with the photos that I want to draw. Right. The drawing is not going to be accurate, okay? No one will actually get accurate kind of 
drawing with this exercise there. And we are not actually look into that kind of accuracy. What basically want, we want to train? We want to train to our eye to see things in the right way. And of course, you don't have to, we don't have to draw or, or work with this kind of emblem of logos or names for this exercise. It's good enough for you to work with this kind of line to develop the form of the structures of this log, the like key log and also the key there, right? the chain. This is basically the exercise <coughs> sorry, that we did, all right? But with the help of the technologies right now, the best thing about our exercise here today, okay, let me actually add new layers first. By using technology therapy, you can actually analyze and study about this object therapy a bit more details there, right? This is how actually we work with our exercise here. It is like drawing a map, right? But we emphasize more on the quality of line there, okay? To emphasize on the drawing itself. Right? But the line should be should be worked continuously. Zoom out, I will be called that move a little bit further there. Okay? And then draw back again. So this is basically is a basic exercise that can help, especially for the beginners, right? Here, to learn to develop their understanding, there. to study and look at things more in details, there, right? Okay, more into details, there. right? The thickness line defines the front object, there, right? Here. The thin line defines basically the distance, the depth of fields of the object, and the distance of the object that you right? emphasize from there. Some of the areas you cannot see things well, try to develop some impositions there from there. You see that? They're different between those drawings that I draw just now. So the line should be repeated. So this is a shadow indications on those lines. Right, the line should be repeated, right? Just like drawing on top of it. Okay, remember one thing, guys. We are not just only draw. And not only, we don't actually trace those pictures there. But what we, we need to do, we study basically the every details that we can see from this object there, right? Okay? And define the shadows like that. This is what we call the continuous line here. Okay. But this is basically how actually we define things. We learn to develop our understanding how to see things in the right way. If you ask me directly, is there any advanced kind of techniques to work with it, sir, the right way? There will be more proper, more beauty that you can see, right way. You can see a lot of perfections on the line, the right way. Of course we have. I'm going to show you guys. But whether you guys can really understand or cope with that kind of techniques. It's another thing there. Right? So, for those who seems doesn't actually have skills there to work with that normal kind of drawings, this is one of the fundamental kind of drawing exercise that we call Continuous line drawing there. Drawing that will develop our understanding there. Another name is a contour. Line drawings, another name for it. 
it's just like a contour drawing there already on the map directly. But this kind of exercise basically to train people or newcomers, right, and artists, right, or designers to see things in more detail. And normally when you see the structures, they're right. People always figure out how actually you're going to draw this right. Eh? So you will start to draw based on your understanding like this one, right? Okay? This is the one that you draw. Someone actually draw like this one, I'm sure will ask you to read draw back again. Okay? This is not the type of drawing that we look into. That we use to train for this class. And even though in any subject, right, okay, uh, Miss, Mrs. Uh, what thing? For any kind of like line drawing like this, this is what we call the line kind of drawing. If you seem to draw like this, I'm sure we'll ask you to draw back again. Between this drawing and this drawing, all right? What are the difference there? We can see those quality of line there. The richness of values of understanding the right thing. Even though some of the drawings are a little bit out of proportion, the right thing, but you can feel the flows of the movements of your strokes. You can develop along the way the quality of line that you need to improve there, okay, from time to time there, okay, when you actually design those structures there. Remember, right, we are not actually drawing full track or still or, or, or fine art kind of drawing, but fine art student also will start with this kind of drawing there. We'll start with this kind of drawing because this is one of the fundamental kind of exercise that help people to see things in the right way. I did all this exercise, the same exercise that I do, right, for the past 25 years, that changed a lot of how actually I look at things and also the way that I actually develop myself. That way. Because it will it changed a lot of my senses there right? to look into more details. Right? But I did this kind of exercise that I've been forced also enjoying working with it for almost three semesters there at a time. All right? We go through the same kind of observation exercise all the time there, right? Okay? That makes me feel more concerned about it. All right, the next kind of drawing that you think that you can draw is like this. This is the sketch line drawing here. I do undo a lot there, right? Okay, to work with it. See? Yeah. So some etching techniques for the shadows use different directions there, right? Okay, the same directions that you work. Right? This is how I actually render them up. One of the way, not the only way, but one of the way for beginners that works. Okay, don't do cross etching first, okay, when you draw. As you say, right, okay, some of the areas you want to draw, for example, like this one, right, suddenly you change the etching, right. Use the same directions there first, but different kind of tone there and value of tone there, right. Okay, right. The outline maybe basically the strokes of the outline there, I think. I did a little bit kind of thickness there, I think. To show a bit kind of characters, to show a bit kind of values on my drawing here. One step at a time when I draw there, right? You can see from here there, right? So this is also one of the drawing that you can practice. If you ask, okay, 
how actually get the right kind of circle there. Just practice your movements there to work. And there's a lot of way basically to, to develop what we call that some accuracy, right? Fine kind of line that works. But the thing that I want you guys to explore of this is to develop the confidence, the confidence on your line there. All right? From singles to this one there, right? Two different kind of thickness on those line there. So uh, some of the new, the, 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 what we call that born kind of talented kind of people, maybe they have this kind of ideas that you want. But for those who actually doesn't have yet, right, okay, still need time to develop your skills. But you can experiment them, okay? When you actually done do any your your exercise right so when you actually did your kind of drawing exercise here. If you practice a lot in the right way to develop your skills, you basically will get the feeling that oh finally I actually get the confidence there to draw. Right. It's all about hard works and improve them from time to time. Drawing school takes time. It's all about the skills that you develop there, just like sports, correct? It's a physical kind of activity. You do more in the right way, you will learn the techniques there along the way, I think. Then you will see a lot of improvements there. If you just play badminton one, for example, or how actually you can be good at it, as simple as that, right? Okay? Don't worry about all these kind of textures kind of things yet. Do or, or, or develop your drawings kind of understanding by drawing only the obvious part, right? Okay? okay, for these kind of techniques, yes, if you really want to just draw some of the detail from those emblem of those texts, the right thing. Okay? The logo itself there, the rename of the logo is go with it, right? But when I draw that, right, I'm not actually draw the outline like this. I'm controlling my strokes there. Right? This is all about drawing, it's about all about developing the skills of illustration there. Okay? Okay. Even though some of the areas here for basically when you to draw that they're using colored charcoal that you or white colors kind of uh, drawing that you works but sometimes all this kind of details right you just can draw some suggestions line here all right from here also the same there okay these are the shadows line that I actually try to draw and try to add different kind of shading to it why? Because these are different objects here. Yeah. Right? Same goes to this one there, right? Suggestions line and strokes and draw basically some of the textures there, right? Can I draw textures only to indicate the rusty kind of feels on this kind of drawing there? Okay. So if you take a look back again, the results, people who cannot draw also basically can draw. All right. So this is one of the tactics also you can apply for your exercise for this week. Okay, guys. Pen drawing problem. And I have also a few kind of methods that I shared in previous classes there. Okay, before okay, before we go into continue then, right? Any questions so far? Any questions so far? No. Easy, right? Just draw on top of it, right? Uh, for Matthew, there may be there. Maybe you need a little bit hard time that you draw manually, but 
basically is good the right thing. Because if you can train yourself to draw manually this, when you get your tables, you will find some connection between controlling the prices using those pencil before writing. And when you use those tablet also, you can, will get this kind of feelings there, I think. The smooth kind of okay. feeling, the connection between your hands that you want there, all right? Okay, okay. So, hmm. so, anyone have any questions before we're going to continue here? No? All right. So, 10 drawings, okay, if you ask me back today, okay, which type of drawing that we need to apply further, I think, for this exercise. I did show you guys two different kind of techniques. Apply them. All right? So don't ask the question back again, because this is the suggestions technique that you can actually use to improve back again your kind of way of working. But of course, for those who actually have a zero knowledge of understanding the writing, of controlling your strokes and precious line, use this kind of drawing surface. Right? Continuous line drawing surface. Alright. Because these continuous line drawings, alright, supposed to be called your sense of design sense of understanding to control your mind well okay because if you google them up i think for example here i think we're going to check for you this is our sample test if we want to google them up there right Continuous line drawing, continuous control line drawing. Here you are in line drawing, control line drawing. T O U R T. I miss the basically the spelling there. Right, this is a part of the control line drawing exercise. Exercise there, right? Okay? To emphasize our understanding there. Okay? This is what we call blind drawing exercise there. 100% kind of observation exercise. Right? That will basically develop more kind of analytical kind of understanding there. We are not emphasizing more on the Perfections. We are not looking for perfection with this kind of drawing there. We're looking for understanding there. Right? So all people around the world actually apply this kind of exercise that way. Control line drawings, line that surround and define the ages of subjects that give it shapes and volumes there. Right? Volume means the quality of line there. Right? Okay, when you draw your lines curving around the surface of Control or control that okay, of the object, you give that object values or values, the quality of line, thick and thickness, okay, to define the distance, all right, uh, what we call that, uh, the, the, the distance and also the depths, okay, or dimensional kind of looks and feel for your, the whole form of your drawing, set, right, okay, so you mean make it, the object appear to be. 2D there, right? Okay. In terms of 2D kind of flat drawings. Right? So those are basically a bit kind of explanation I can give you guys. Right? Okay. So this kind of we call that notes that basically we actually have go through okay four practical kind of notes, right? okay. We are going to go through during the practical exercise. There, right? okay. So it will be more understandable hopefully but i have to confess most of the beginners there right, who don't succeed to develop their skills because they always take for granted when they actually learn about this exercise a lot of people say that. 
they end up cannot draw the right way and they end up also cannot actually improve their, their drawing skills. Why? Because they don't actually focus, right? they don't actually take serious with the line of drawing. Skills. So please take serious with this exercise because you don't want to end up to draw like this anymore. Because a lot of people, a lot of my students who actually have learned from me or from anyone else that day, from art appreciations, project design, or introduction to art, or maybe color study, okay, they still cannot draw, and they still draw some people like this, right? Okay? In the future, right? They still draw people like this. You want to end up to draw people like this for the rest of your life? Ask yourself back again. Okay? <coughs> Look at how actually I draw the right. Okay, my hands, they end up to draw like this one at hands. Yeah. Has a kick as well. Even though in final year projects, right, they still draw like this. If you end up, if you want to end up to draw like this, right, it doesn't have any improvements, go ahead. If you work smart, there will be a part of styles of illustrations. But if I ask you guys right now, anyone love this kind of drawings? Anyone love that kind of drawing? No. Sure. If you're really sure they write a game, avoid them. Or the the best thing is don't draw that kind of drawings anymore before you're going to improve and develop your skills. Let us say in the futures, all right, you want to design or develop some illustrations that based on that style, but basically you, you know how to draw, right? Okay? You know how to draw, even though you're not pro enough, but you have that knowledge that you bring from, from your lessons, right? Okay? But now you want to choose a unique style for your drawing set. What we can do, okay, let me say I want to draw myself. Okay, as an illustration kind of character design, okay? But I want to draw this kind of drawing here. For example, that, right? Huh? This kind of style here. Okay, styles of illustration are drawing here, okay, but using you using this kind of style there, but I'm using this kind of style to present my kind of maybe some sort of character design or some animations to drawing here, okay. So all the line drawings are going to be look a bit like uh, very rough directly. Then I'm going to draw basically the neck, right? But this is basically styles that I want to present for some of the, the maybe some campaign directly of uh, what we call that anti-socializing or, or kids kind of campaign directly, directly. So I'm going to represent a very kid-like drawing for that campaign directly. So what you can do from here? Right. You want to emphasize, maybe sometimes some people will draw like this and then they're going to use uh, a very rough kind of color tactics, I think. Cover with it. Yeah. Okay. 
it can be a part of style that one. Right, campaign directly, illustrations drawn with that. It can be, but when I actually draw like this, when, I, when we actually emphasize to draw like this for some of the campaign directly, or any advertisement kind of campaign directly, it's not because we cannot draw, because it's a part of the concept that you want to portray for some of the campaigns, some of the advertisements, right, or maybe some children's books, there may be that too works. All right, so. Every characters that you're going to develop will be based on this kind of drawings here. Right? Even though you want to draw maybe cats there, right? For example, if you have right, you will draw like this one there, right? But of course, when you develop this kind of drawings, you don't actually try to imagine only there, right? Okay? But you actually have some sort of subject matters that you actually have used to work with it. Okay? Cats there. For example, you've seen some of the campaigns sometimes working on newspapers or social media or even though books they were okay? they use this kind of what we call it style of Not similar there, but some sort of like this one there, okay? Okay. Very simple kind of drawings that you think that uh, this one also, right, my six year old kids also can draw their way, but it's not because people cannot draw their way because the purpose of those campaigns, the main objective of those concepts itself, that needs to use this kind of drawing. Okay. It takes a lot of courage to design this kind of drawings there, it, especially to the senior products, right? To develop a good campaign, right? Okay? And of course, it's a part of styles. Okay? So, you should know why actually you choose that kind of drawings there, not because you don't have choices that you work. All right? Choices that he works. So we have the choices right now. You have your own choices right now where you want to go from here. You choose that again. How it works. Okay. F basically for presentation is kind of modes. Click three times. You can get the new change every time you click you can get the change there tap basically for uh, hide the menu there basically tap all right f for presentation modes okay two words all right guys so learn basically back again from basics if you seem to have the package of skill that you bring to my class it's basically a blast and a bonus there to push yourself more further to develop your kind of good kind of presentation present it well the game also marks well okay? so do actually develop some of the different kind of techniques explore all the big kind of brushes that you work there okay? So one of the things that you need to also to do to work for this week is test your brushes strategy. Right? This rough round bristle brushes is what basically these brushes can do. Right? But you have different brushes that you can get also from the new versions of okay, change the flows. You can see there different kind of strokes there, right? All these kind of strokes and brushes that I think when you use uh, what we call that tablet, you have to test this, right? Even though you don't know, okay, what basically will do. That's why we have the traditional kind of media there. Okay, for color studies, I think you will learn traditional media there, right? To try to connect it with it. Is it right? Do you have the privilege to use those, what we call that 
charcoal color pencil or watercolor for, for this masters for color studies. What basically means costumery as we can plan for you, may I know? This is a watercolor texture brushes. Okay. Different kind of different transparent brushes that it works. Right, test with your brushes, all right, before basically right, and get to know also what type brushes basically it will give you guys some sort of understanding that it works, right? If you change the flow, normally I did a change opacities, okay. Normally I get the change. Okay, this is a little bit more like a rough kind of charcoal, right? Dry brushes kind of looks that it is. If I want to make this kind of brushes, basically, uh, the what we call that the difference between the brush and pen. If I want to show you guys the the result of these brushes here, yeah. let me go back into what we call that my reference, uh, my kind of. Work back again. Right. What I did basically with those brushes. If you take a look at most of my previous illustrations, you know, but these illustrations that I did for one of the comics that I did right previously, they use this number kind of brushes. And then there's a few number kind of brushes that I actually experimented with, okay? even though with the captions. Right, I'm using number kind of brushes that you use. I use more than one type of brushes that you develop. Okay, but the first brush that I use is always always the drawing brushes directly, like Kyle, uh, what we call the ultimate pencils that maybe Carl ultimate chuckles that maybe directly, or Carl ultimate brush that pen brush directly. Experiment with this kind of brushes if you use uh, Adobe and Adobe Photoshop CC 2019-18. Okay? But if you want to download it on my kind of brushes, go ahead. Okay, that all made with flow brush. Okay, to work with. It, okay, this is some of the brushes that I actually work. I use a lot of brushes before this for my work. Almost every of my illustrations or works that when I use Photoshop, I use. Uh, Similar to traditional kind of drawings methods that you work. Okay? Yeah. Alright? So I combine them together that you work. So those are the things that I always experiment with okay, in my works. Okay? Even though I'm using photo montage or collage there, okay, for my drawings and illustration works. I'm using the number kind of brushes that a few kind of brushes that works also. Right. This one I'm combining AI and also Photoshop together. With that. So Adobe Illustrators and Photoshop together with some of the elements that I draw, especially the characters that I so This is one of my personal kind of illustrations that I create um, for a few years directly. Uh, from commercial into galleries kind of works there, okay? commercial that I got and I will record that working with those AI kind of illustrations there okay? for the wall design there right? for the wall design okay yes I saw before there okay? this kind of drawings so hopefully give you guys a bit more kind of understanding that okay, how actually I work with this kind of illustrations there. So these are some of the AI, AI illustrations using AI, but we're not going through with AI. Right? So some character design developments that I create. I think using Photoshop there, right? okay. it works. So there's a lot of tremendous kind of way of working with this kind of brushes there. But of course, this brush is basically, I'm using a very standard kind of brushes that works, but this is one using AI there, okay? This one also I'm using AI that you get. This is basically at, if I'm not mistaken, at IGN kind of project then. This is one of the illustration that they use. They commissioned me that to work, right? So, this 
some books, illustrations. I use a lot of this kind of technique because why actually I experiment with this kind of and use this kind of technique because back in the day when I actually illustrate illustration books, uh, the client itself always always want the look and the feel of the illustrations have the traditional kind of feelings or, or styles that I okay? It's like using watercolors, acrylics, uh, what we call that collage therapy. So that's why I use this kind of style that I do. And also I'm enjoying very much to work with this kind of style there because it gives me a lot of freedom therapy uh, to construct the structures, right? I'm combining the line together that to work there, okay? So for me, it's quite fun to describe with this kind of way of working. There. And of course, if I, this is one of the comments that I did okay, for one of the workshop for my candidate there, right? To expand with different, different kind of brushes there, applying some of the textures directly in Photoshop, entirely working with Photoshop there. Right, if you, if you take a look at this kind of drawing and illustration there, okay, I'm using entirely digital there. There's no manual kind of techniques that work this kind of drawing set, right? And of course, I use some of the reference there for the drawing to the drawing this, uh, what we call that this character there, okay? The subject matter here to work, okay? So this is some of the comic that actually have been published before there, okay? So I rarely done those kind of things okay, anymore because I'm quite busy to do something else there, right? Okay? And related to those teaching, sharing sessions, consulting, and also uh, selling some things. That we do. So those are basically some of the what we call that uh, what we call that effects of brushes that actually will give more impact on your presentations. I okay, think when actually you want to draw your illustrations later on, there you want to develop your kind of style later on. Okay, so it, there will be a lot of fun if you actually explore a bit more on your way of working there, okay? those are the things. This is one of my first attempt of comics that I did for one of the magazines they call Joe Magazine. There. But this kind of comic, this kind of, this kind of uh, what we call the titles, design, uh, uh, comics there basically, they publish in two platforms that they digitals from other companies and also uh, conventional kind of publications there right, okay, on the magazine itself there. Right. So I love to explore back in the days, okay, with this kind of what we call that start there, right, okay, because it gave me a little bit more kind of satisfactions when it comes to develop my kind of illustrations for the client itself even though for me, all right? Because I always believe works will speak to itself directly. I rarely explain a lot back in the day for what, what basically I've done. Unless people will ask me why I actually did the certain kind of things, why I don't this kind of, do this kind of things directly. But I do always have a lot of respects when I actually do some research, okay? My kind of influence of works were based from, I have also my influence there. Right, there's the key kind of illustrations. Right. Okay, this is one of my inspirations, my motivation, my kind of, what we call that uh, interest when I actually design my kind of drawing and illustration. But I didn't copy, but I get inspirations and motivated to develop my own way of working from this Dave McKean kind of illustration style there, right? Other than that, I have uh, more like this. With this having there, okay? Um, who else there, okay? And of course, I love also this guy there, okay? This is one, more, one of my good friends, okay? Uh, Nathan Joseph. Okay, if you 
This guy that I do. So we we actually right. I have contacted him okay in Facebooks. We've been friends in Facebook for some time. Okay, before I have been friends with him. Uh, I did follow his work a lot. Okay, so his work also have influenced my way of directions of my working with my personal dolls. So always have an influence. Try to develop your style. Don't basically just learn from what we have in our sessions without searching for more kind of explorations on your work. Okay. Other than that, I have also okay, this guy, okay, John Berger Mandel. Okay. Maybe I have shared with you guys before. He was also one of my inspirations to draw and design a character there. And this is one of the my one of my favorite illustrators also there right here. John the modern illustrators there. My teachers basically right, I have my own group. Okay, this is my, my teachers okay, who actually teach me a lot. Okay, what I actually know right now, but I still learning. Okay. Yeah, let me have some more. This is one of the local artists. He actually my teachers there. Right? This is the guy. 50 years, 50 years, okay, 50 plus something there, right? He used to teach me drawings, drawings, fundamentals, drawings there. When I was like in 1995, and this is his painting, and now it's not digital painting, it's a traditional all paintings there, and charcoal drawings there, okay? This is my, my guru there, okay, my seafood, okay? He actually well-known artist, local well-known artist, quite famous, quite wealthy there, I think. And I always have the full respect of him there, I think, just to, to design and work there. I have a lot of rules there, I think. Uh, like, this is also, some people actually have teach me a lot, I think. Formally teaching me on the education, art education there. Right, he, he doing a very ex expressionist abstract. Okay? So my kind of what we call that uh, disciplines is not only illustrations but paintings. All right, um, a bit kind of stuff just sometimes, but I do love to see. Right, Tim Burton kind of concept illustrations. Right, you know Tim Merton, right, who actually, the guy who actually designed or direct a lot of good movies like Alice in Wonderland, okay. So this is also my influence of working with the, with the animation character design. Okay? This is one of the influence that made me want to go into animation stuff, right? Okay. So do have a lot of influence there. I didn't actually share a lot from previous sessions, right, okay? but for your groups, I think okay, I, I need to explain a little bit, Rocky, right, and, and share a little bit, right? For caricatures, Rocky, right, if you know caricatures kind of designs, like this guy, like this old guy, Ralph Stickman, right, okay? I love his expressive kind of styles of caricatures. Right? Classic kind of styles of illustration. This is the old guy there, right? Okay. Yeah. okay. It's very expressive kind of illustration. It's a political kind of illustration, what we call that. Illustrators and also caricatures there, right? Okay. Artists there. And also the local one there, right? That the guy who actually, the old guy who actually influenced me a lot of using a very nice kind of color there. Right, Yusuf got there, right? Yusuf is my own okay? You guys actually can sit for him in Facebook there, okay? So he's quite old there now, right now. They're not also feeling very well. I love to see his drawing and illustration when when I want to jump into children's book illustrations. A lot of artists basically, right? Okay? They will look into this Yusuf Gajah right, kind of style. Because why? Because 
the richness of Carl is there. How he actually break the rules of the normal kind of way of craft the characters and subject matters to make it into more look like the semi kind of abstracts, but they look a little bit more weird and also unique kind of thing. Right? So I really have a full respect also with him because he actually one of the reason why actually I can conduct uh, my kind of team basically back in the days to change the, per the perceptions how actually we can actually uh, what we call the presented children's book illustration for uh, for our local publisher right the government local publisher they want to them to start with that. okay so I I actually write study about his styles and then I develop on my own and I come up with my kind of illustrations like this one that I do. So this is my first attempt basically when I actually uh, develop the skills, I develop my kind of style of illustrations there, using the monsters that I did kind of style characters. This is one this one I'm using in traditional media there. Right, so we become a good friend. I actually did hire him to what we call that conduct one of the workshop that gave for us. Okay, to give a talk for my what we call that uh, staff basically, right? Because I'm supervising my team to develop uh, to the spoke last version at the time there. Yeah? So his basically style did also influence me a lot, right, to develop my kind of illustration and skills there. Okay, so I actually write combining and develops and also improvise the thing that I saw, not just copying them. All right, the point is right now, I'm not teaching you guys to trace those drawings there. But I want you guys to develop your kind of understanding there, right? And learn from time to time to develop your kind of way of working there, right? Those are the things you should do. There. Some of the college or university there, they teach people to trace, to draw, to copy, to trace, to draw, copy. Right. But I don't want to teach you guys just to trace or copy the right thing. I want you guys to draw and improvise the way of your works in order to develop your own kind of way of working. Some people make mistakes. In the learning process, they always say, okay, this is my style here. What style is that? Then talk about style to me. Do the best to improve your skills of drawing factors. Right? If you can do better than me, I always feel grateful there, okay? Because why? Because the student can be more better than me. There's no point that, that when I actually teach students, right? But you guys cannot draw or improve your drawing skills. Right? It feels bad for me because why? Because I've shown you guys how it works, but in a matter of to develop yourself, it's all up to you. Okay, it's all up to you how actually you're going to improve that. Draw every day, practice every day. If you draw once a week, once a week, they basically don't felt that you can actually improve that. Okay? There's no way you can improve on that. You have to draw every day from now on if you want to improve your design skills, your design skills there. Okay, guys, you train to become a designer there, not become an operator of software there, right? So develop those skills, those senses from time to time. There, right? Any questions so far? No? All right. If you guys have got any kind of questions or the best way, send me a progress. Even though we have six days to complete, send me a progress in WhatsApp there, right? Share me your kind of developments there. Practice, make 
improvements, not make perfect. Right? I'm not looking for perfections, I'm looking for progress. Right? Practice make progress. Always think about that. Progress means every day that you draw. Spend two hours, maybe one or two hours to practice them. Have the moment in your time to develop your skill from there. Okay? And try to enjoy more with this kind of new routine. All right? That's how actually you can draw from that. All right? Choose who actually you want to be. And best thing is be yourself. But be yourself doesn't mean that you you blinded have you told people that I want to be myself, but your drawing looks shit there, right? That's not basically being yourself. That's basically you think that you're doing right, but basically you're not. Alright? So the reason why you're here. Because you want to improve there, okay? I will lead you guys, I will try to help you guys to, to get to, 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 to go through with this process. Then. But you have to show your commitments, all right? Show your commitment in that. So use privileged time that you have right now, exclusive, exclusive time, time right now, right, to, to, to be a part of the process. Then. Pen drawings, I did share with you guys also what we call that our reference, right? I will take time a little bit to choose, right? Here, right? Even though we have the color version of it, right? Here, right here, you have to transform into grayscales, all right? Transform into grayscale. I don't want to what we call that change those colors first because you need to learn also how to change the this now what we call that pictures into grayscale there are really wrong. Okay, do it yourself then. And of course this drawing when you want to present them, for example like this one there, right? Duplicate the lace. Right? This one scale down a little bit, put side. That's, what, that's how actually you can present your works. Save your files in JPEG format. All right. And then upload in your Google Classics. Okay. So I will share also this work there for you there already. Okay? So that means you can see more clearly how actually I present those work. So I'm going to share this work there. Some of my demonstrations, like this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Okay, lastly, it is either okay, I want to show a bit more. How actually I'm going to paint the shadows and shades? There's a lot of ways basically to work. Some people love to be using brush, all right? Using a little bit like a texture brushes here, all right? And then they are going to paint directly like that, okay? What basically I will do normally right i'm going to reduce a bit on the colors over there and i'm going to fold the shadows like this i'm going to direct draw and paint the shapes of shadows there okay you can use also lasso that two works always control the shadows and shapes okay, this area basically have the it is stuff there right it's okay so this is one of the methods basically we can actually use to it's not coloring but shades there right the shadows there if I use Texas brushes right if I use soft brushes 
like like soft brushes like this one soft round brushes you can get also the same kind of way of working it, but you can change the level of tone but this is not compulsory guys so they really don't actually do it using any kind of shapes that is but you guys can actually try them right because sometimes okay right you feel a bit kind of you call that ah oh, not satisfied okay you can actually complete those drawing things and you can actually try to work with it yeah all right just to very have a good result that you work there and add some shadows that you do. this is how it works add a bit more la layers there for the shadows there to work with it. Use size, you can change size all the time there. Right, to indicate the different kind of tone there, okay? And so to add a bit more kind of details that it works with those. Right, but I'm not actually emphasized on the how realistic it could be. I'm not actually focusing that. What I did right now basically is just to emphasize on the shapes to create the form of the shadows there. No worries there, okay? We're going to go through more and more from here. Just want to show you guys actually how it works. All right. But of course, you can explore a bit more from there. Make mistakes a bit. Right? Then learn from there. Don't be afraid to make mistakes there. Some text you can see. All the line material, all the work called the texting, you can actually add it a little bit there by painting up okay so this is basically the fundamental kind of we call that kind of training that we can actually develop basically our understanding that Next semesters, hopefully, right, okay, when you work with those digital illustrations, you have basically that kind of understanding more, and you can develop a more advanced kind of way of illustration. Advanced doesn't mean like, yeah, you learn new things, like, right? Sometimes the tricks are going to be the same. The only thing that new is actually how actually you develop the style, thing, right? Like I said, we are not actually become an operators of software. There, right? What we did actually write a design thing, right? Design skills. Right? Design skill doesn't mean that you rely too much on the tools. Using a very general kind of tool, also you can illustrate well. Okay, you can illustrate well. Okay, so it's not a matter of tools there that you use any kind of fancy tools there, right? Away. It's all about how creative you are to develop and how actually you can actually open up your mind to different kind of options in order to work with your design thing. The core thing is right now, all design students should can draw like this. If you cannot draw like this, you're not a design student. Simple as that. So you've got a long way to go to develop the skills. It develops in the right way. Okay. Any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, in that coursework, there they only got seven still life photo. Yeah, so, still have three there, right? Okay. So I'm going to share another three pictures later on. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Some students basically uh, told me, okay, can, can we draw from your own reference? Yes. After you complete that 10 drawings, based on my choices of photos, if you want to do it more, go with it. Maximum of our drawing are going to be 10 normally. But I'm going to, uh, I'm sorry that maximum going to be 20 already. 10 drawings is for this week. 11 that is. 
if you do more, go ahead. Okay? Because the overall marks for your exercise, weekly exercise, is going to be around 100% times 40 directly. Equals to 40 is there. Right. So 40% is quite a big mark. If you can score 40%, right, for marks that have the qualities, then you can actually gain more from another exercise later on directly. So those are the things you can do. I think 40 is right, around 40 to 35 or 30, I think, depending on the But most of the exercise, assignments are going to be around 20, 20% directly. So that kind of marks also is quite big. The number is big, basically 400% kind of crossword mark. So always, always concern, not only for the marks, concern about how you develop your skill in the right way. Okay. All right. If you don't have any question or you have the questions later, please write me. Bust me on WhatsApp, right here. So I will give you give me some time to 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 find another three right kind of photos that it works. All right. And then hopefully you can see from there, right? How actually you're going to. Uh, work with that kind of drawing set. Okay? So check back again, right? Maybe it's wrong. All right. If you guys don't have any questions, all right, thank you very much for having me today. All right? So hopefully you guys gain something from our exercise, from our demonstrations here, right? Okay? Focus on this first exercise because each week there has a different kind of challenge there, right? Okay? So practice yourself and don't get up so soon there, right? Okay? Because it's only a process of learning. There. All right? All right, enjoy yourself, develop yourself more, and have a nice day. And have a good evening there, everyone. Thank you very much.